District District Attorney Fani, F A N I. Last name is Willis. I probably had some choice words about some of the things that you said that were dishonest within this motion. So I don't know that it was a conversation. As you know, Mr. Wade is a Southern gentleman. Me, not so much. Past that, we had no substantive conversation. You did not. Is it um, something you didn't understand? No, I just wanted to make sure that. that okay. Say, say it's highly offensive when someone lies on you, and it's highly offensive when they try Judge. to implicate that you slept with somebody the first day you met with them, and I take exception to it. So after after that, you started dating shortly thereafter, correct? A lie. That's okay. one of your lies. Okay. Eight to ten years ago, um, just by happenstance, I ran into her. So she was in Atlanta. You have been friends with Robin for 30 something years. Did you hear my answer, madam? I don't know how old your children are, but when you have adult children, they leave and they come back. They leave and they come back. So there have been periods of time that they're there, they come, they do whatever they want to do. Children do what children do. As long as their mother has a house, they'll come to it. Uh, Tennessee's kind of hard to call a vacation, but I just am trying to be inclusive. I have money in my house. You have money in your house. So it was just money that was there. When you meet my father, he's going to tell you as a woman, you should always have, which I don't have, so let's don't tell him that. You should have at least six months in cash at your house at all times. Now, I don't know why this old black man feels like that, but he does. If you're a woman and you go on a date with a man, you better have $200 in your pocket. So if that man acts up, you can go where you want to go. So I keep cash in my house, and I don't keep cash as good in my purse like I used to. Um, I don't go on many dates, but when you go on a date, you should have cash in your pocket. Because I would advise it to all women. So you can't identify when you came into this cash or where the cash came from? I didn't say I couldn't identify it. No, nobody gives me anything. I am sure that the source of the money is always the work, sweat, and tears of me. The same with Aruba. You don't know where that cash came from either, right? Ma'am, you are mischaracterizing my testimony greatly. Um, I'm not going to allow you to mischaracterize my testimony. My daughter doesn't live in California. Did she ever live in California? I'm not discussing to you the location of my child. Has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head? So let's be clear, because you lied in this, this. Let me tell you which one you lied in. Right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth. Judge. And this, it, it, it is a lie. It is a lie. So you want to start with the lie that he lived with me in, in South Fulton in 2019, a home he's never been to. That's one lie you told in your document. I, no. You, Judge, I didn't ask her about that. And I, I didn't ask about living. But you put in your, Did while we're talking about professionalism, no, while we're talking about professionalism, she put in three different documents well, he lived with me. Full opportunity to respond. The only money you've ever given him outside of a contract is cash. I didn't give him money in a contract, so that was cute, but I didn't give him money outside uh, in a contract. What happened is, no, we're going to answer it since you said it. He worked. He worked more hours than he was paid, and the county paid him for the work that he did. So don't be cute with me and then think that you're not going to get an answer. Um, so you have no proof of any reimbursement for any of these things because it was all cash, right? The testimony of one witness is enough to prove a fact. So my question Are you was, telling do me you that have I'm any proof? You? Is that what you're intimating right here? I'm asking if you have any proof that you paid him any I mean, of these The proof is what I just told you. So the cash that you gave him, that could have been used to pay the tax lien off? You gonna tell me how to pay my bills? Um, raising two daughters by myself, there were times in life where things were hard. Did any of your children stay at your house? And you don't have to yell at me. I'm able to understand. I, so I would ask you to not yell at me. I'm not sure that the tough conversation didn't happen until after, but the physical relationship. So I'm sure if you ask Mr. Wade, because he's a male, he would say we ended June or July because physical contact ended then. Just in my mind, being a woman, it's over when you have that like hard conversation. That's, I just think women and men think differently. Appreciate the characterization. I'm not going to emasculate a black man, but I'm, I'm just telling you. I'm that. sorry, what? I'm not going to emasculate a black man. Did you understand that? All right, well, I don't think we should discuss track. further. Let's just say that. Next question. I, I didn't ask you that. I was going to ask you that. 4000 is part of your, my words, cash hoard that you had collected over time. Cash what? Hoard, H-O-R-D-E. Oh, I thought you said something different, sir. You've been 
intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial.